How did that hilarious start? Well, obviously a breakup, but at the same time, I looked up to somebody uh, for their musical advice and where they were very supportive of my work in the very beginning, they all of a sudden, as the music industry changes, they were very critical of my work and everything that I made, everything that I sent them, nothing seemed to be good enough. So it's like I'm going through two breakups at once. That's hilarious. I was listening to Ariana Grande. Ariana always uses the Rhodes sound, the Rhodes piano. And then I was listening to a Phineas record, and I love how Phineas um, and Billy take advantage of distortion. I just was really inspired by the sounds, like the, the dichotomy of some, like a pretty Rhodes against like a really rough sounding bass. And uh, yeah, that's where it first started. Look how all the tables Look how all the tables have turned Guess you finally realizing how bad you messed it up I always want to start any song I do with a lyric that kind of drags you in. It's almost like an incomplete sentence. Look how all the tables... What? I'm, he's singing about tables? Look how all the tables have turned. Like, oh, that's what he means. Look how all the tables have turned. And that's something that people say all the time. Like, look how all the tables have turned. Now, it didn't work out. With that person, now you're, you know, uh, calling me 10 times in a row. Girl, you're only making, girl, you're only making it worse when you call like you always do when you want someone. When somebody calls you and you can tell that they want something from you, they make it very obvious. They dance around it, they say, how are you doing? How is your... How's this person? And you're like, okay, get to the point. That person was calling me and I was like, what do you want? Like, just, I'd have so much more respect for you if you just called me and just said what, like, what you were actually wanting to call me about. You took away a year of my fucking life and I can't get it back no more. So when I see those tears, Coming out your eyes, I hope it's me there for. I never want to be vindictive in my songwriting. I believe that people make mistakes and they can move on and be better people. But if you're gonna make me cry, I'm gonna make you cry. And it's just what it was at the at the time. It was so intense at that. Now I I don't even think twice about it. But when I sing the song, it kind of takes me back to, uh, to that time. But my my biggest goal is to never be vindictive in my songwriting. You didn't love when you had me, but now you need me so badly. You can't be serious. Ha ha ha. That's hilarious. Ha 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 ha. This was such a heavy song that I didn't want, uh, you know, people potentially figuring out who it was about and reaching out to that person. So I figured it just balances it out by making it kind of funny in a way. Ha ha ha. Not like hilarious laughing but just like a little chuckle like oh it's kind of clever it kind of balances out the death with something fun maybe thinking i would still want you after the things you put me through yeah you're delirious ah, 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 that's hilarious ah, 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 ah. i just wanted to write a sarcastic part in a song i've never written uh sarcasm. I wanted people to hear me singing That's Hilarious and know that I was thinking the opposite and feeling the opposite. Now you put the blame in, now you put the blame in reverse, trying to make me feel guilty for everything you've done. You're another lesson, just another lesson I learned. The goal is to make the listener feel like they've already heard the second verse when they haven't heard the second verse, so you do that by making it so familiar. And how do you do that by making it so familiar? You literally take the phonics of the end of each word in the first verse and you tail end it with the second verse as well. Look how all the tables, look how all the tables have turned. Now you put the blame in, now you put the blame in reverse, turn, verse. It's all, I did that in attention too. I do that with every song because it's just, sometimes I'll just repeat the, uh, the, the verse one and verse two in the same way. Don't give your heart to a girl who still got a broken one. 2019, 2020, I gave myself for the first time, uh, and now it's gonna maybe take me like 10 years to do it again because this was so significant. I, for the first time, I gave everything of myself 
also dealing with the other thing musically at the same time that had nothing to do with the relationship but I was giving all of myself and meanwhile that person was already broken so it didn't matter how much Windex I put on the window the window was already cracked the whole song if you actually look at the waveform goes like this goes like this goes like this until me therefore you didn't love when you had me and then I did the Max Martin trick where the first chorus is not as loud as the second chorus so it, I wanted it, the song production wise sonically to go upward in like a stepward way and it kind of makes the listener in my opinion want to go on the roller coaster ride again the musical roller coaster ride again <laughs>